life was gonna be this way. Ooh, don't lose the gift. Okay, so, <laughs> hey, it's Geneva, and I am not your average oddity. I am your 90s sweater oddity. If this is your brand of entertainment, you've come to the right place. Today, I think uh, it would be fun to talk about brain fails. And what I mean by brain fails is times that your brain just totally let you down when you needed it most. I will start with an example I just remembered from college. And let me tell you, there are many. But we're going to start with this one. So, uh, Casey, this is not the time to be playing with your toy. Anyways, uh, this one time in college, uh, it was my senior year and I was starting to uh, begin my job searches. Job, uh, words are hard. <laughs> Anyways, it was my senior year of college. I was beginning my job search, and there was this job that I was really interested in. All of a sudden, I got a phone call, which I missed, uh, I think because I was in a class. I got a phone call from the news director of this one TV station that I wanted to work at. He was calling about setting up an interview for a producer position. And so, of course, I'm excited. I'm so excited. So I get ready to call him back, and I'm so, I'm hyped. I'm ready. I'm, I'm, right, Doc? I'm, I was hyped. I pick up the phone, I call him back, and I get the voicemail. And you know, voicemails are already the worst. They're already the worst. But when you're super excited to talk to this uh, person who might give you a really cool job, you're just like, okay, let's leave this voicemail. So I'm going, hi, so-and-so, uh, I got your message, and yes, I'm really interested in applying for this job. <laughs> this is where my brain failed. I forgot my own phone number. I was so excited in the moment that I started to say the numbers, and then I didn't remember what they were. So this is what happened. All right, you can call me back at... Uh, one, two, three, um, uh, let me start over, one, two, three, you know what, you know what, you already have my number, you can call me back at this number, thank you, goodbye. I hung up the phone and just started cracking up, and I was right outside, um, one of my friends' place, and I go in, and I'm like, I forgot my phone number with my dream job. <laughs> You know, they didn't hold it against me. They did offer me the job. Uh, <laughs> I went with a different job, actually. But the moral of the story is, even if you forget your phone number, you still might get the job. Other brain fails. One time I was sick, I had a sinus infection, and I watched this really cool video on Instagram of this woman with... A uh, accordion who was playing and it like brought these like cows to her in a field in like Sweden or something and it was a really funny video because I just loved seeing the cows like coming to the accordion playing but then it was Instagram so you know you lose stuff in the feed really easily because it's not like by day or anything and I tried to go back remember I was I had a sinus infection my brain was not working at tip top shape I tried to look for it again and I couldn't. The problem was I couldn't remember the word accordion. <laughs> so I ended up searching. What did I end up searching? Bag piano because you know, it's the piano keys and then the bag in the middle for an accordion. I searched bag piano because I couldn't remember the word accordion. I did eventually end up finding accordion so I could find the video. I cannot trust this brain up here sometimes to remember basic information. When I was in high school, I was on the bowling team, love to bowl, and we had to do this fundraiser where you had to call people and 
ask them to donate money, you know, to help support the bowling team. So I called one of my great aunts and uncles and my great uncle answered. And me not realizing how phone, how you should like make phone calls. I was like, hi, it's Geneva. And that's all I said. I just, I'm, I mean, I just assumed they would know it was me, but I should have like gave them the benefit of the doubt and said more words than hi, it's Geneva. And he goes, I don't know no Geneva. And I hung up the phone on me. And I didn't know how to respond. And then like two seconds later, the phone starts ringing and I pick it up and I'm like, hello. And it's my great aunt. She doesn't even say words. She's just laughing. And from then on, people in my extended family have been calling me Geneva. And I just, it's been years. It's been like 10 years. I'm still Geneva. Things like that, they stick forever. And ever. And ever. Um, <laughs> I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll have more fun content like this at another time. Of course, with a cat interruption, because that's what cats, what am I supposed to do? I'll see you next time. <laughs>